Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! Moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Whoa, what is that? Onion? That's it. I smell a question coming. This is fun, but I'm not sure what it has to do with the nanoscale. Yeah, I know, right? What does nano have to do with scent? Because you're nano sensors. <gasps> Don't do that. Nanosensors? Yeah, nanosensors. Nanosensors are anything that can detect things at the nanoscale. Things nanometers in size. Yeah, I still don't get it. Okay, let's back up a step. When we talk about things at the nanoscale, we're talking about things that are nanometers in length. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter. This is a meter stick. These are millimeter lines, thousandths of a meter. If you divide each of those a million times, that's a billionth, a nanometer. To give you an idea, a virus is about 70 nanometers in length, DNA is about 2.5 nanometers wide, and your fingernails grow at about one nanometer every second. Nanometers are small. What does that have to do with smell? We're getting there. When we get down to the nanoscale, we're talking about things around the size of molecules, the building blocks of matter. This is a model of a molecule called propyl acetate, also known as pear smell. When you smell something, you inhale molecules. The molecules travel up your nose to the olfactory epithelium, an area of tissue about the size of a postage stamp near the top of your nasal cavity. When a molecule lands there, nerves send information to your brain which interprets the smell. While our sense of smell is limited compared to some animals like a dog, we can still smell things in the parts per billion. That's why we're nanosensors. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. Take a 10 or 12 inch latex balloon. Add in about a teaspoon, a capful, of flavor extract. Inflate the balloon. A word of warning, be careful to not let the balloon deflate in your mouth as you'll end up with a mouthful of extract, a very unpleasant experience. Also, be careful not to drop it while tying the knot as you'll spray flavor extract all over the room. Now would be a good time to have your responsible adult help you. Um, okay. Shake the balloon and inhale through your nose near the balloon. What happens? It smells like vanilla. Latex balloons have tiny microscopic holes in them. You can't see them with just your eyes, but they're there. That's why helium balloons stop floating after several hours. The helium leaks out through the holes. I get it. So the molecules from the vanilla extract move through the same holes and up his nose. That's why you can smell vanilla. A fun game you can play with your friends is to fill many different balloons with a bunch of different extracts and to see who can guess the most correctly. Oh, what is that? Onion? Not exactly. <laughs> this has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>